I like to explain um, what zero knowledge means when I give a talk through an example. So imagine Alice uh, controls some Bitcoin wallet and wants to prove to Bob that she actually controls the wallet. So the trivial way to prove this is she could reveal her private key to Bob. Think of the private key as like the password that, to the wallet. Okay, but then of course Bob controls the wallet too. Okay, so this is like a totally valid proof that Alice controls the wallet, but she doesn't want to use that proof. Okay, so what a zero knowledge proof will let Alice do is the exact same thing. She'll convince Bob she controls the wallet, but Bob will learn nothing about her password, about her private key. Okay. And that's what zero knowledge means. You know, Alice is claiming here to uh, know a certain piece of secret information. We often call that piece of information the witness. And a zero knowledge proof will convince somebody that Alice does know that secret, but it will reveal nothing about the secret other than that she knows it.